here's the here's the four and a half or the four bay bow tie four bays here's bay one two whiskers whoa here's bay two two whiskers this is the center feed point this is where you attach your bell in your connector this is bay three this is bay four ah, the wire the wire is number 10 copper this was new wire off a roll which is fairly expensive this is one of my retail antennas um, number 10 it's, it's very strong it's very stiff number eight copper uh, it's usable but it's very difficult to work with and uh, the overall length of this antenna top to bottom is 28 inches from the bottom of this insulator to the top of the top insulator that keeps blanking out and uh, what I have here is in that 28 inches from you set your insulators on center come down a half an inch and set it and then your bays are nine inches apart in here the bays are nine inch, inches apart the centerpiece the feed point is four and a half inches from the bays so that's your base spacing the phase lines they cross at the bottom that space between here you need a separation usually just enough to get your finger through there and there's a cross at the top this is cross phasing it's very important it helps the antenna work and you just want to get your finger through there so when you're building that I start off with the phase line is usually 31 inches or so you wrap it around at the top you figure it in and, and wrap it around the bottom but you can you can press the bottom down you shape that as you go and you lift lift the top so you you get like a little bridge it's hard to see but you get a little bridge and uh, that's that the space between these points is uh, one and three quarters one and three quarters on center the, the phase line separation that's important uh, too much is wrong for some antennas too too little is wrong for some antennas it depends on what you're building for the four bay bow tie one and three quarters is fine uh, you can see I use nice hardware stainless steel come on focus here nice stainless steel hardware and uh, make your connections so that you have a nice tight joint not a lopsided joint I go through great pains to bend that phase wire around these connection points so that I have a nice tight fit you can see they're all bent around next the whiskers the whiskers start out as a 19 and a 19 inch piece of copper focus machine it's a 19 inch piece of copper I mark it in the center and bend it in a V shape so that each whisker is nine and a half inches long that's the dimension nine and a half inches you start with 19 bend it in half you get nine and a half inches so we covered the size of the whiskers the overall length of 28 inches um, the space between bays of nine inches on center 
the space to the center feed point four and a half from the two middle bays um, the reflector material I chose is very tough it's 16 gauge galvanized steel the mesh is one inch by half inch it's tough stuff the idea is it's outside it's in the breeze you don't want it flopping around most antenna builders they uh, can't for the edge here it adds a little bit of stiffness um, the reflector is 36 by 29 for this antenna there we go 36 by 29 for this antenna nine inches between the bays nine and a half inch whiskers the big deal of building an antenna is finding something to build it on this is why I prefer aluminum it's relatively easy to get your hands on and uh, it stays out of the way you want your whiskers out there free flowing through the air so the signals can hit it and hit as much of your whisker as possible that's very important good luck guys